Hello everyone, this is Sunil here from Cloud Foundation and you're welcome to this session. We'll be talking about SailPoint. That's nothing but the IDM tool. So let's get started. The tool that you see in front of you, that's what SailPoint is. It's an identity management software. Now, identity management is something you wouldn't have seen stuff like this long time back. Like for example, 10 years back, there was very, I mean, there wasn't, there weren't much softwares available for identity management. I mean, it uh, separate softwares were not available. But uh, right now you will see there are a lot of softwares. You will see there is something called as Okta, Ping, right? There is something ForgeDog, then there is Oracle Identity Management. There are a lot of players who provide IDM, um, IAM solutions. Now, first of all, what exactly is identity management? Uh, we will just uh, talk about it a bit. Then we will see, I will show you an overview of this particular tool. And since this is the first session, so let's make it very simple. So let's just try to understand what are the different, uh, so what exactly is identity management and what is the need? See guys, try to understand if you have any idea about what is going on, then you know that data is what is God. So I mean, in current age of internet, data is God. If you have data, you have everything. It means see, um, there are millions of, uh, let's say, let's talk about a bank called a city bank or some big bank of America. So you will see their data is stored, the data about their customers, it is stored in uh, different databases, right? Now there might be a person who who uh, is a developer, there might be a person who is just a user, right? And there are persons that are administrators, many, many different persons. And even users, there are some users who have access to credit cards, debit cards, stuff like that. And there are some users who have access to home loans. And there are some users who have access to five and six, five uh, to 10 applications. So users, uh, what users can access and what, well, one more thing is they shouldn't access something that they're not supposed to, right? So if that happens, that's an identity breach, right? So what's basically, if we talk about IDM, what is an identity? Identity is nothing but it's just the profile or you can say, let's say on a high level, let's say it's an employee. Right. So managing the identities of that particular thing, that's nothing but IDM, identity data management. Right. That's the software. So I think I have explained enough on that. Let's um, let's jump over to a bit of practicals. We will see the tool and try to understand more. So, well, this is the tool and you can see this is in a VMware. So this is the VMware sale point and uh, right. So this is a VMware and this is a software. Let me log in SP SPAD admin and admin. So you can see the link here, uh, identity IQ, right? So I think it's already logged in. So you can see here, this is uh, what is the tool? This is how it looks like. And this is the home page for that sale point. So home page identity IQ, right? And uh, here you can just log in SPA admin admin. That's the user ID password, guys. For okay, sorry, double. Okay, so you can see it's uh, logging in. So this is the home page, and you can see policy. How many policy violations? Uh, how many access reviews approvals? So uh, let's start by one by one. I will. It's not possible for me to explain each and every bit on details and that's not uh, the purpose of this session. The purpose is to uh, give you a brief overview idea of what exactly a sale point is. And in the further sessions, I'm creating a series, a free tutorial series. So in the future sessions, I will be talking about in detail how you create an identity, how you're going to create an application and roles, policies, a lot of stuff. But uh, to, in today's session, let's just have a brief overview of all this stuff. So you see, this is the home page. This can be configured based on uh, the particular user and stuff. And you can see here, like um, uh, how basically uh, once you have configured applications and policies and all those stuff, uh, then you will see once it's connected to the target application, how many policy violations there will be policy violations. Okay. And that's the job. That's the reason why we are implementing sale point so that we can see the graph in details and the, how many access reviews and approvals like uh, user accesses, right? Manage because see sale point is all about managing user accesses, certificates, user accesses. So right, that kind of stuff. So this is nothing, but this is a shortcut. And if you go more deeper into a lot of other stuff, you can see uh, this thing. So you can see 
in my work identities all this stuff let's go through this one by one uh, on a high level basis first of all so this is the same stuff that you see here my access reviews access request policy violation how many violation on policies that is done and all those what kind of violations all that stuff will be listed out here then here you can see identity warehouse what exactly is um, uh, this will store details about your identities for example this one is the risk model uh, this one is warehouse let's just see the warehouse a bit then i think you'll get more idea so if i click on warehouse let's see what i can find so you can see it shows one user do you know why it shows one user because the reason is uh, i just clicked on that sorry so the reason is i have only one user called as spa admin in my in this particular system that's the reason why i can see only spa admin and you can see here it's an administrator so if i want to see more details on this particular user then i can click on that then it takes me to a window where i can see the details of uh all this all those things and i can even see the role what is the role if you go to the user rights then you can see the rules that's the system administrator right so you can um, create users and then you can provide privileges like whatever privileges you want to provide in this particular window so that's what this window is for and then the event activity all those stuff can be configured right here in uh, in this application right attributes entitlements uh, sorry entitlements and uh, application accounts policy of for this particular user history risk right um, the risk i'm going to talk about risk later but basically risk is the most important thing so this is one of the things the uh, through which we control the identities where the, because the identities uh, it is exposed on the internet so risk is a factor that protects that particular thing and you can see all the reporting all that stuff uh, it's done here right so that's uh example of identity well uh, i told you right identity is nothing but its profile or you can say it's uh, let's just say it's an employee right so if you want to uh, normally upload all the identities or you connect um, via an application to those identities right and here you can see here so let's say how do you create an identity so if you want to create an identity you can go here and click on this and say manage identity and just say create an identity right so create identity give uh, all the details so identity let's just say asa24 and whatever password you want to give password right then just fill the first name middle name last name all that stuff and um, the the summit then you will see one more uh, user will be created so just a summit then you will see this user will be created right this identity will be created all right now where can i see all that stuff where it is created if you want to see you can go here and click on identity warehouse then you should see that particular user here we go so asa24 right it's very easy to create identities and stuff and you can see all the details user rights um, all those things you can also manage identities if you have lot identities you can manage you can view all that stuff you can do it right here and in manage user access so all the user access accounts password stuff so it's nothing but uh, i mean i sale point it's all about certificates and user access management so that particular thing you can do here we'll be talking more about this thing later because it's uh, if i start on this thing then we'll go deeper on that so i i mean a lot of uh, people who are listening to this video they don't have much idea on what exactly is sale point so i'm just giving trying to give you a very brief overview right now your task approvals all those things sign off requests and the dashboard right so these all features that are there on this uh, the home page screen uh, then we got something called as application uh, what exactly is application application is uh, how can i explain application is let's say it's just a script or a program okay so it's just a script or program that enables you to connect to a target system what's a target system target system is something that contains the identities like for example you a target system is a um, let's say it's a bank that contains 
um, identities of the employees or let's say identities of its customers so that's basically an application how we will be creating and how we will be um, managing configuring the application now that's all what this course is about we will see how to add an application stuff like that right and you will see one more thing risk model i already talked about it a little bit so we will see this is very very important then um, the intelligent systems especially the reporting you have seen some uh, bit of it in the home page the reports so that stuff uh, the reports and advanced analytics so you can uh, if i click on reports just see I don't have any reports because I have not created any so if you create a report then you can see all that stuff it will show you like uh, the discrepancies and all, everything about uh, the particular identity access management all that stuff you can see and uh, there is course and all those things reports advanced analytics this is a very good feature we'll talk about it and yeah I told you right certification is very important certification is nothing but it's about the user access review so let's say uh, which particular ac user has access to a particular uh, like on what uh, all the things he has access right for example let me give you an example let's say let's say insurance company or a bank now they have uh, they, they use the certificates very much so they're using the certificates they ensure that their uh, their customer is connected from a secure system and pretty much that's what certification is all about and uh, certification is the main basis why we have sale point i mean that's the main reason why we are implementing why there is a separate software uh, called as sale point and that's why sale point is successful and uh, roles is something i think you can guess what roles do uh, it's it's um, uh, basically like bunch of privileges we group on and then we assign it to a particular identity that's what uh, a role is right it is um, basically for uh, simplifying the access right that's what we do and policies all the set of policies are nothing but rules you create all the rules and then that's what policies are and we will see how to create manage policies later and task groups so group is it's grouping of the stuff so the, that's the group and uh, yeah business process is important it's nothing but it's the workflow uh, workflow or let's say the uh, let's say mapping or a workflow uh, what does uh, it do what do we do uh, let's just say a particular uh, application let's talk about a particular application let's say a person joined a a, a a bank right he joined a bank as an employee then uh, what are all the things that needs to be done so uh, you will create a business process that okay when a person joins a particular organization then you need to give privileges on this 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 stuff right so that all things can be automated so this is pretty important for automation and stuff like that and um, yeah that's what uh, it's all about on this thing uh, life cycle and batch request right this is more over than the batch whatever you have created so that's what is there on this side plus you will see there is also something called as uh, uh, this is specially for administrators i mean it is for administrator but you will see as a sale point developer you will also you should also have access to debug so to uh, have access to debug normally you should have administrator privileges so just go here the you can see here the, this is basically for debugging and it's quite important in sale point if you're a developer you can select any particular object and uh let's say identity let's just say identity then you can see here if you remember we had two users right so two identities that is asa24 and spadmin right so that's what i can see here and basically you will see see this uh, the world knows this two spa admin asa24 as identities but for sale point it's nothing but it's just an xml file so if you go and click on that then you will see it will open up this xml file right so pretty easy right so you can see here the um, uh, uh, stuff it's stored in xml key display name all that um, i mean all that stuff right so let's close it so that's on this uh, particular identity part and um, 
yeah i mean you will see uh pretty much yeah that that's pretty much the overview of this uh tool now for the course content what will be covered what will not be covered you can just check it in the website you can easily find it and um yeah that's it guys that's it for this particular session i don't want to make it long so um, thank you very much for listening to this stuff and uh, just check out the uh, second session thank you very much